you know, the flashy light up there as well. Plug this back in. And here where I disconnected it. I've got 9 volts there by the way when I check it. The battery may be down a bit. Oh, that's still flashing. Flash, flash, flash. I've grounded it out. I've just simply put the back probing pin onto there. That's still connected to an injector to get a ground. And it's fully on. I'll try this resistor in it and see what happens. Sort of area. And when I switched it to zero ohms, that's like you've shorted it right out, so it just goes hot. Zero ohms. So now I'll go for five ohms. Ten. Twenty. 30. Right, so the first dial isn't going to do anything. The next one, hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 300 ohms. And it puts the light out. So this proves it's the... The gauge is working. 300 ohms. If they've got a problem with this, they need a sensor. Or sender. Since it's one wire, I think that would make it a sender. Temp sender, but it's a sensor anyway. So that's at three, 300. I go back to 200. Kind of stayed where it is. 100. Going up slowly. I was just curious to see what ohms it should be to be in the normal, like right in the middle. Looks like 100 ohms.